All right, it's really good to have you here, and thank you so much for taking time out for us. I know you have a busy schedule, uh, so thank you so much for being here. Uh, I just, uh, you know, we have a lot of aspirants with us connected here today. We have more than, uh, you know, uh, two, 240, 50 people here. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to share your motivational story with all of them. And how has it been for you to be a career counselor? To begin with, uh, Shali, I would, uh, you know, just want to introduce you to the team here. Um, Shali Kapoor is one of our channel partners, and it's a privilege to have her here with us have her onboarded with us. Uh, she is a, a channel who has uh, taken both our products, uh, you know, one, the career counseling uh, product, as well as the study abroad uh, uh, certification and uh, technology as well. So she will be able to brief about, share her experience on what made Shali choose uh, career counseling to begin with, and then uh, why us? Okay, so, uh, you know, first of all, uh, a very good evening to all of you here, all those who joined the session. So uh, I started my journey years back when, you know, uh, frankly, just when my kids were growing up. And uh, that's when I actually got into career counseling. And I worked with quite a few ed tech companies as well. I started as a freelancer and then I worked as a full timer as well. But then gradually with time, I felt I wanted to have, uh, you know, my own uh, startup, I would say. And that's how when I started, uh, it's been a, around, say, one and a half year back that I started Mentor. But before, uh, you know, I... Uh, enrolled with edu milestones i would like to say that i checked quite a few platforms so it's not just that uh, i was new in the field having the experience in the past as well so i contacted quite a few i researched quite a few like we all do that yeah so but then edu milestones was something as per my experience that's an honest opinion here and a heart or heart uh, talk here that uh, you know uh, the value for money and the support system which they provide so I was uh, then the training sessions which they gave that was for the psychometric assessments and also the support which is provided with the study abroad platform after having a comparative analysis of all that is available in the market so I felt this is a good place to be in and my journey with them has been great you know, no complaints as such. The be it the technical support, be it the support by the study abroad team, everything has been just perfect for me. I'm just sharing my opinion here, a very personal opinion. So that's how I'm here, and uh, I look forward to work more with the new milestones. And uh, it's been great so far. Thank you so much, Shali, for your feedback. I think you processed one of the applications uh, uh, to Canada, right? Right. Uh, so uh, how was that journey processing applications, uh, you know, uh, the guidance, the support in terms of processing it? Right. right. So uh, this was uh, last year when I processed uh, applications to Canada. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the first and the foremost step was shortlisting colleges. I'll just tell you the whole process, how we went through it. So uh, first there was a, a you know, we, the student signed up and uh, the report was sent to the study abroad team. As per the student's marks, the, uh, you know, she wanted to get into information systems. So as per her marks, which she had achieved, uh, the shortlisting of colleges were done. Then we saw which location she was looking at. Accordingly, we decided that what would be an apt uh, university. This was completely done by the Edu Milestones team. And uh, thereafter, all her documents were uploaded on the portal. That was a seamless process where the student uploaded everything herself. And uh, then the application was made, the fees was paid to the college. And say with, uh, somewhere between one and a half month, uh, one month to one and a half month, uh, we got reverts, like we applied to four colleges. Out of that, uh, she got into three. And uh, thereafter, she chose one of them in, uh, that was in Vancouver. She chose to go ahead with. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, thereafter, once the fees for the college was paid, the complete support regarding visa was provided. 
wherein all the documents were collected her sop the first draft was written by the student but after that um, it was you know the counselors at uh, edu milestones worked on her application the application was created for the visa and uh, that's how she got through and uh, you know she was she's been really thankful she that uh, yeah i i still keep getting messages from her that ma'am it was only because of you people that i'm here you know and uh, it feels great when students you know come back to you with such feedback oh, that's true, true. That's true. Yeah. i agree i agree yeah. uh, so uh, i uh, thank you so much shali for sharing that information i'm sure the step by step process has defined uh, you know our aspirants that how it would be uh, you know when they would start their journey and uh, you know at the end of the day we exactly want more and more students to get to where they deserve where they belong and if Definitely. it is happening through people like you who are talented enough to uh, you know process it and work through it seamlessly then there's nothing like it then so mm -hmm. it's really a privilege to have you here and yes. have you associated with us all right thank, thank you so, so much for taking time out today thank you so much all right take care shali have Bye. a great day. Thank you. Bye -bye.